Hey guys, welcome back to Daddy Jeep Garage. This week in the shop, we're gonna install some PSC hood louvers. So a lot of people are saying the forums are dying, which I guess, of course, they are. But I really enjoy the forums. I have forums for all of my different activities I'm in. I'm on forums for my camper. Of course, I'm in Jeep forums. Of course, I'm in Chevy truck forums. Everything I'm interested in, I follow forums. Forums are a great resource for information. And I like it better than social media because it tracks it in one place. It's easy to search. It's easy to keep following a build, look back into a build for other information. So that said, this hood louver I won from the YJ of the Month competition on Jeep forum. Uh, it was graciously uh, provided by Quadratech. Quadratech has supported the forum, has supported our little contest every month for years. So a big shout out to Quadratech for, uh, for supporting our, our forum still and our, our YJ of the Month competition. So that said, let's get into installing this thing. These are the instructions, which also double as a template that are attached to the hood. <coughs> Showing you all these points where you drill and then the dash lines where you cut. Pretty straightforward stuff. Um, step one, remove the hood from the vehicle. I'm not going to do that. I've seen other guys do it without removing it. I'm just going to put a tarp or some drop cloth underneath there to keep the metal shavings out. And we're going to work right on the Jeep hood. So skipping that, we're going to get this thing lined up on the hood and uh, get it taped in place. Now the next thing you're supposed to do is you're supposed to cut out these, these small holes for the existing uh, windshield tie downs. I don't have them in, I haven't had them for years, but I'm still gonna cut out these holes and line them up as the first starting point. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use an X-Acto knife to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and use my center punch, drop into the hole so I can uh, make sure that stays lined up. your windshield tie down in place through these holes to help hold everything in place. Again, I don't even have those. I probably do somewhere, but we're just going to make sure we tape it up real good. I guess I did omit the very first part of the instructions, which is to cut. There's a, a dark line around here. You're supposed to cut the shape out. So I'm using that shape to eyeball the front to make sure it's pretty squared. All right, so that's pretty centered on the hood. I guess before I go any further, I'm gonna go ahead and put some drop cloth underneath here so I don't make a mess.
use that to prop the hood up a little bit just to make sure we don't drill something we shouldn't be drilling. Let me go ahead and move. Go ahead and move the camera over here so you can still see what we're working on. We want to go ahead and go through and center punch all of our holes so when we put the drill on there, it stays where we want it, it doesn't walk. So uh, I'm also going to mark each one with a Sharpie as I center punch it so I don't miss one. So the next step is to drill all these holes we just center punched with a one inch hole saw. Since my hole saw is obviously not as sharp as it once was, I'm going to go ahead and try a, a step drill this time. See if maybe that makes it a little better. thing before we remove this paper template is there's three holes you need to mark and drill to get at least your first three screws in to align your final piece in order to drill the rest of the holes. Another thing to note with these first three is they all go through the inner structure. So you're not just drilling the outer skin of the hood, you're also drilling that inner structure. Screws fit, that means I have the right size drill bit. That's it for the template for now. Actually, I think that's it for the template, period. Um, all of our holes that need drilled have been drilled. So now we can pull this paper off and just connect the dots with the jigsaw.
that was certainly a good time. We're going to take the uh, flat file and we're going to go ahead and knock the burrs off of here. Remember those three holes we drilled? Again, they went through this inner structure. So now we have to drill a clearance hole so we can get through there to put the nut on. So we're gonna go ahead and use a hole saw again, or the, uh, the step bill drill again. Definitely want to be careful you don't get carried away and poke a big hole through the top of the hood here. So I think that should be fine. The instructions say a three quarter inch hole saw again. Can't read it, but I think that's pretty close to three quarter. right on that edge which kind of sucks but I think we'll be okay with the whole with a step in been at this just a little bit over an hour uh, so not bad it's about an hour and 10 minutes actually so we're to the point where we can actually put the put the louvers back on and start drilling the rest of the holes now the instructions say to line up the uh the three holes we've already drilled drop a bolt in there <coughs> and then just drill through the louver for all the rest of the holes I suppose we probably ought to actually put a nut on the back of these. Again, the instructions do say that, but it's the hood's a little, little out of whack, so it's bowed up. So we definitely want to bolt these down. Now we're getting somewhere. We just have to drill 21 more holes and install 21 more nuts and bolts.
product, guys. It took me just over two hours, like two hours and eight minutes. Uh, and I skipped that last step of uh, pulling everything back apart, anesthesizing, painting, putting back together. So at least another half an hour, maybe 40 minutes. So if you were to follow the instructions to the T, it's, it's pushing a three hour job. Uh, it's, it's almost one o'clock in the morning on a Thursday. I've had enough for one day. I'm going to wrap it up. So, and again, a big thank you to Quadratech for supporting our uh, contest on the Jeep Forum. Uh, if you guys haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe. I appreciate you hanging in there. We'll see you next time.